Hello there, it's Courtney and it is another match day at Anfield. We're taking on Tottenham, which could go one of two ways. Tottenham have just been absolutely demolished by Newcastle last weekend, which if anybody watched it, I wonder if anyone was just like me watching it and ought to disbelief that first 20 minutes. Um, so that could happen, but they also drew two all with United, so could go either way. Um, very excited about this game for some reason, very nervous. Um, it's the first of three home games that are coming. So obviously there's today, which is Sunday, then Wednesday we are taking on Fulham. And then next weekend we are taking on Brentford. So cannot wait for these games before the end of the season. We'll have one more home game after that, which will be filler. Um, I think we're all looking forward to the break though after this season. I think this season's been very stressful. Um, very different from obviously last season, which is a massive shock still. Um, but yeah, but anyway, team news. Unfortunately, no Bobby for me, no back just yet. I'm hoping midweek maybe. I just want to see him have a good few home games before he goes. But unfortunately, his muscle strain is still there. Um, but a bit more positive news. Ibu Kanae should be fit for today after missing out during the week at West Ham. So, fingers crossed we see Ibu back. I love Ibu. Although, Matt did play in his position and Matt header against West Ham. One of the best headers I've ever seen for a goal. Um, just the power behind it. But yeah, that being said, I am sat in the lower Annie today. Same seat as I was sat for the seven nil demolition of man united so let's hope that same energy is there because oh, i enjoyed that game so much it's a really good seat as well in the lower and it has the safe stand and so if we are standing up quite a lot like we were in the united game it was very helpful to have that to lean on to try and see the other corner um but yeah really excited i'm gonna go and see the coach hotel anfield all the usual stuff speak to you once team news comes out and so i have a little talk about if things have stayed the same if there's been any changes um but yeah that being said let's go let's go Team news is out, it is Allison, Trent, Canate is back, love you boo. Um, Virgil, Robertson, Harvey Elliott's actually starting, which is a bit of a shock, especially when I hear you hear the rest of them. Fabinho and Curtis Jones. There's no Hendo, no Thiago we're starting with, so should be interesting that. Um, not like midfield, midfield's been our strongest point all season, because it hasn't, but yeah. Should be interesting, especially with Trent going into it. But anyway, front three is then Salah, who's actually breaking his 300 game appearance. So, congrats, man. And then Cody Gakpo and Luis Diaz. So Diaz being back is really good to see. Um, yeah, it's just... I, like I keep saying constantly, Bobby being out is... I just miss him. Like, I'm going to miss him at the end of the season. I hope he comes back fit enough that for his final game he can start the full game because that would be that would be really nice um hearing the kickoff go and then everyone just singing si senor would be lovely um and then spurs lineup is um fraser foster so no larice um romero dyer ben davies pedro porro um oliver skip um hoberg persick some of these names I really struggle with, um, so I don't even know how to say that on Dejan, is the only bit I can pronounce. Harry Kane and um, Heming Son. So, um, in the past, that would have been a pretty strong side for Spurs, but how they've been lately, it's 
very similar or was it could go either way for Spurs and it could go either way for us so it should be an interesting game especially with our midfield that midfield like Elliot and Jones playing together very interesting but we'll have to wait and see what goes on but that being said I'm gonna head to Anfield now so I'll see you once I'm in there
there we go after a pretty eventful game we come away with the three points the win that's all that matters but that was a game of two completely different halves that first 20 minutes the three goals going in in pretty quick succession and um, i thought it was going to be very similar to the tottenham newcastle game but we're playing the same Tottenham side here. It is just it's it's history repeating themselves for Tottenham really. And then we sort of did what we've done all season and just sort of crumbled a bit. Um took our foot off the pace. But I will say as well, also the atmosphere dropped at that point for some reason. So something I've said all season that they say virtually every season there's a point where our atmosphere just sort of goes. And um it was another one of them days today after we scored them first three goals the atmosphere did drop as well as the performance whether that's linked you can make your own mind up at but yeah we did what we've done all season just sort of crumbled a bit so we had an amazing goal from curtis jones who i thought had a really good game i've not i will admit i've not been his biggest fan for a while since he's had that injury and it's not a case of i don't like her i i I do like him and I do think he is promising. I just don't think he's promising enough as a Liverpool player. Um, but today, he completely proved me wrong and had a brilliant game. Um, that goal, the cross comes in, the touch he has to one, control the ball, but two, also have that control and then convert it into a shot on goal and score was amazing. Then we had Luis Diaz who just threw himself at the ball. Threw like we've missed Diaz, like this sort of style of player. Threw himself at the ball to get that goal and he got it. And then obviously Mo back with a penalty in the first half. Like my nerves were gone from everyone started singing his name which was probably a bit of a boost for him. Um but yes yeah, so Mo gets the penalty with three 0 up. Then Tottenham ends up putting three away against us with the last one being from Rich Arlison which was probably the most infuriating moment of the match for me um, as most Reds we're not as big a supporter are we um, doing this little pigeon dance with his top off swinging it around thinking he's got them the point he saved them he's also put, done something that'll put a smile on all the Everton fans face and then we get to the point where Diogo Jota just goes no game's not over yet and slots one in the back of the net in front of the cop like love to see it to which then to make it even more eventful Jürgen runs up to the lines um, the fourth official sorry celebrates turns around pulls his hamstring so yeah injury for Jürgen which was then followed off by a yellow card because of his reaction um, I do believe Jürgen has had a bit of an issue with Paul Tierney um, after the game, I believe something's been said to Jürgen from Tierney. Not sure what that is, but because Jürgen didn't want to say, but yeah, that was a, um, an interesting moment. I do agree though with Jürgen Tierney, we seem to have a lot of issues whenever we play against them, and I do think which this happens with a lot of um, any game in the Premier League, there is a massive issue with refereeing currently. I don't know why you would think VAR would help the situation, but. It, Refereeing in the Prem is just a bit of a joke at the minute and for some reason with Tierney every time we have him as a ref in a game with us it just it seems to be very negative against us which I think the penalty you couldn't argue was a pen but there was a lot of fouls that didn't go our way. There probably was a few that didn't go Tottenham's way as well, but Diaz getting fouled three times in a row, nothing done about it, sort of thing, stuff like that is very questionable. But it was a very interesting game. Um, now we're on to Wednesday, we play Fulham, which I am back in the lower Annie for that, and I believe I'm going to be sat right by the away fans, so that should be a good video, a bit of banter in that, hopefully, with the Fulham fans. fans. We shall see how that goes. Um, but yeah, just made up we got the three points. That's all that matters. And Jürgen's fist bumps back at the end. Like, I have missed that. I love Jürgen. He is... It's the one person I, like, out of everyone on the planet, everyone I'm a fan of, all of players, or, like, pop stars, whatever, Jürgen's the only person that I would meet and then cry probably in front of. Um, just, he's so special to me and my family for, like, personal reasons. Um, stuff to do with my granddad and that, but also, like, obviously any Liverpool fan, Jürgen is so special to us. Um, I'm glad Jürgen is a red. With that being said, 
I'm off and I'll see you on Wednesday. Bye.